right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Bowman. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Muncie, Indiana, USA, Pantera. And now we producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Great. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Great punch landed with so much power. that one at all. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Able to check that kick as well. 
right, so a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll he'll change his stance. Boom! Collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed and the control is crazy. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Punch coming is blocked. Both guys really throwing with authority. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Sneaky head kick. Oh, a huge block there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Punch. Caught that. Oh, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Gotta check these kicks or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Big kick land. He is throwing a fast straight hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Lee gets hit with a kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. 
He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Well placed kick there by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. He's looking to land the right, just out of it. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice one, two there. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has pulled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great point. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Look at that leg. Look at that leg. Nice body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big head kick. Next there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. 20 seconds left. Lands the overhand right. Changes his stance. Final seconds here of round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down.
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to hold. Misses with the right hand. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Punch is blocked. Oh, big punch land. Straight right hand now, just misses. Liver kick. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big kick lands. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Huge block there. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice job there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Lee. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. You don't know when that leg kick is coming. Oh, that was hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the tip without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Dude is good. Oh! Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh. Oh, nice. And they separate. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Went for the inside leg kick. Relax, relax, keep your hands up for Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he the top of 
This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to his there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Back to the feet now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Spinning back fist. Big leg kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice counter right hand lands for him. It's much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Kick, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Lee circling to his right now. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him drive his shin. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at the angle of that nice body. Whoa! Oh! Big kick. Face such a big spot, big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. That kick blocked by Lee. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight, and that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch the clinch. Nice counter right hook there. Fast leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. Big knee to the body. guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And a miss with the right hook. Digging kick. Under a minute to go in round four. Hey. 
trying to hammer that lead leg. So that's the end of the round. The fighter's eye is not swollen shut. I guess you can qualify that as good news, but it's starting to swell pretty badly. And you know the opponent is going to continue to attack it when we get to the next round. So the end swell is on. We'll see if they can get it down and keep this fighter in the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. That's a big strike right there. Oh! On the button. Don't back up. <laughs> Whoa! He the elbow. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Very tricky. series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens here. This guy hits the double leg. And he switches in again. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Nice kick there by Lee. Ooh, sidekick. Well timed there. Two minutes. What? Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Pretty 
Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. All right, less than a minute to go now in this fifth and final round. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's...